everybody, and welcome to a little special video I've been wanting to do. Um, well, for a while, I've been doing these little video series, you know, I put out a video a day or do whatever, but... I, I tend to- I watch a lot of things. I can- uh, myself, I consume a lot of media, as you might as well, because you're consuming this right now and just watching it for some reason. Thank you. So I've always been wanting to do kind of like a review thing, and, uh kind of give my views and opinions on some of this media that I consume. Why would you listen to me? Just the, due to the sheer volume of stuff I watch. Everything. I watch everything. So I was just deciding, I'll just pick like the latest four things, three or four things I've been into, uh, that I've gone through and give you some opinions on that. That was a dog. Some of these will be movies. Some of these will be TV shows. I think I've only, uh, maybe just one movie. Um, but these will not be spoiler free. So, if you're looking for something like that, get out of here. Don't listen. Plug your ears. Do this. Keep the video going. Just plug your ears. Like that. That would be perfect. So, if you are afraid of spoilers and don't want, this is where they start. So, everything before that, this, had no spoilers. Now look at me. This is spoilers. So let's get to it. Let's, let, let's talk about some movies and some stuff. Um, I'm a Netflix nerd. I'm a Netflix nut. My nuts are for Netflix, and I love Netflix. Obviously, I watch just about every new series that comes to Netflix. Not every new series, because some of them aren't worth it. Fuller House. But a lot of them are worth it. Stranger Things. Netflix has been putting stuff out left and right. They ta they've taken my money every month ever since uh, probably uh, 2008 or 2009. That's how long I've been with Netflix, and I will forever be with Netflix. But... Either way, let's talk about some streaming television, shall we? First, I'm gonna talk about this friggin' weird show called The OA. Now it's on Netflix. It's a streamable show on Netflix. You can binge watch it right now. You can go straight to Netflix and binge watch this. And I suggest you do because it is nutty, but a good kind. I don't know which end is up, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know who's who, I don't know what's what. I don't know what's going on half the time, and I'm questioning everything. But I'm having a gas doing it. Uh, Phyllis Smith from The Office is in it, and I'm just like, hey, yay Phyllis! Good job, everybody clap at Phyllis. Spoilies, okay time for some spoilies. We're in the OA, we're talking about that. The OA. Two letters. O and A. What does it stand for? O and A. I don't know if that's forwards or backwards for you guys. Stage left, stage right is still a foreign concept to me. Um, this is gonna be meandering, by the way. I don't, I don't know how to stay on topic, okay? This is stream of consciousness. I don't write my thoughts down. This is just the OA, the OA. I'm gonna talk about it for a while now. Talk at you. Talk at the camera for a while. It's about near-death experiences. It's, they call them NDEs. I call them spooky. <laughs> But it's not a spooky show, it's a fun show. It's not a fun show either. It's very dark and very serious, but it's got its light moments. And those are the moments I live for. <laughs> the rest is too scary for me. I have to watch it like this. It's not actually like a thriller or any kind of scary show. I look at it like this, okay? I'm an X-Files fan. So, you know, the Mulder episodes were kind of like the spooky alien ones, you know, where he'd be chasing a monster or something would be coming after him, the government or something. And then you get the Dana Scully episodes, and these are more like philosophical, like what happens after death, reincarnation, you know, it's got a lot of that, uh, how the experience of the show is. It's not like an action-packed thing, but there's some action, there's some exciting moments. And uh, I don't want to like directly mention anything like super specific, just because uh, why? I can I can kind of talk about it without making a buttload of spoilers. But uh, everybody dies, and <laughs> just kidding, Josh. That was a big old Josh. 
now there are all these questions and like fan theories going about and that's another thing I really like about television shows. The seasons in between give people the chance to, you know, come up with their own little, little, uh, ideas. You know, it's just a fun little speculation thing. You, you just get time to, you get free time to just, like, speculate wildly. And that's what this show, like, purposefully was all about. And that's, and not, that's why I, I, I dig it. And that's why I like the format that Netflix has, where you can just... Been straight through something and then you're stuck with nothing for a fucking year. <laughs> Netflix knows how to keep you hooked too, and that's good good for them. I, I, no 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 problems for me. So next up I want to talk about something I just finished. This just uh this is a January release for Netflix. Um <laughs> It's a new spin on something that has come out uh, before. Um, originally, it came out as a film. Before, <laughs> originally, originally, it was a book. Now, in 2017, Neil Patrick Harris from How I Met Your Mother or Hedwig and the ha Hangry? Hedwig and the Hangry Inch? Inch? Is that right? I think so. Hedwig and the Hangry Inch. Um, that's a musical. It's... It's a, it's a musical. He plays Count Olaf, a washed up, terrible actor. <laughs> that's gonna, that's a, that's a big old stretch for him, right guys? <laughs> up top, somebody give me a high five for that one. Neil, Patrick Harris, you wanna high five me? I slammed you. Sorry, I didn't mean that. I really like the transition to uh, like television format. Each unfortunate event, I'm guessing, like in book form, is split between two episodes, so you'll get Part one, part two, part one, part two. And uh, I really dig that. That's a, a great way to split up the books. Dogs. Dogs are, are moving around above me. Because of how, because of how um, the show is like split up and how Netflix allows for that kind of stuff, you still can just binge straight through it as if it's a friggin' movie. And that's basically what I did. I finished that in probably two days. When something new comes out and it looks really good and I'm totally into it, I'm going through it no matter what. I'm, pl I'm plowing through that beast. They kind of do something interesting. They turn Lemony Snicket into a character on the show, which I uh, is a spin I really enjoy because I think in the movie it's just a voiceover maybe? Well, I don't remember, it's been a while, but in the show, he does he does narrate the story, but he's also like the case manager of the story. He's kind of like, there's another mystery in this show. This show took me completely off guard, honestly. I was expecting it to be kind of, I, I was definitely expecting it to be a little bit more, not lighthearted, because it's called a series of unfortunate events, but definitely to take a little bit more lighter tone towards the darkness, but it did not. Some very funny lines in that show, some that actually got me laughing. I'm not one to laugh at anything other than uh, things that I've said, but he actually got me chuckling. And I, I did the, you know, got a lot of air going through my nose, you know, I was like, let me clap at you, NPH. And I did. I clap at my TV when something good happens. I'm just like, something really good is happening, I'm going, woo, woo, woo. But Doogie Howser pulled it off as Count Olaf. Um, he really came up with a really, like, dirty and gross, and just a character that you hate, but also a character that's really fun to watch, because he, he wears costumes. He dresses up in different costumes, and how can you hate that? I certainly cannot. I like that kind of thing. All right. So now you know how I feel about Netflix. You know, streaming is the new thing, and I am the biggest fan of streaming. There's more than just streaming. There are actual movies out there. You gotta go to the movie theater still to see these, or you can wait, but you'll be behind. You'll be behind the buzz. You'll be behind all, like, you won't know what Jimmy Fallon's talking about. You won't know what Jay Leno's talking about every night. So you gotta go out to the movies. You gotta get a bowl of popcorn. You gotta enjoy it. You gotta get some butter going. You sit and you watch. That's a movie. Now that's what I, I enjoy it. I don't do it often enough, but I do enjoy it. So what was the last movie that I watched? Let me tell you what it was. 
it was stuck. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Not Star Wars, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I wish it was. I want them to put like as many Star Wars into their titles as they possibly can. Let me get into the review of this film. I don't even really want to go through it. I guess I will. Uh, a lot of you have probably seen it by now. It came out in December. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Let me start off by doing like a short spoiler free review and by saying, it's good, I like it a lot. Let's get into the nitty gritty of it though. What made this movie so neat? Was it the special effects? Of course it was. Was it the fact that they were on like a sweet island planet with like palm trees and sand everywhere and they had a big old battle on a beach? Yes, that was amazing. I wanna see more of that all the time. Was it the fact that Darth Vader had about 15 minutes of screen time and during that 15 minutes he was just destroying people and like doing everything everything I've ever wanted to see Darth Vader do he did in like the last 15 minutes of that movie. That movie pandered to me so hard that I'm pretty sure it was like I was like, I'm not even like the biggest Star Wars fan. I mean, I like Star Wars. I like the movies, blah, blah, blah. I'll see them. But I, don't, I, don't, I ain't got no Star Wars stuff on my wall. This is an X-Files. <laughs> but this movie, I was like, Rebels, yeah! Let's go! And the end, by the end of this movie, I was, uh, at the last scene, I was like, <laughs> yeah! But I wouldn't say it's a franchise that I consider to be my favorite. You know what I mean? I've, I've got more fran I got franchises I prefer. Like if somebody was like, "Would you like a new Star Wars movie, or would you like an X Files movie that's guaranteed guaranteed to be as good as the first one?" I'd be like, "Give me that X Files movie." I've seen so many good Star Wars movies. There's kind of please, just one more good X Files movie. Can we do it, please? But yeah, so uh, just all the excitement that I got out of watching this movie blew me away. Really enjoy the fact that there's a new Star Wars movie every year. I, I kind of wish that they had a, a deal like um, Marvel has with Netflix, you know what I mean? There's like a movie, cinematic, and TV universe, and then there's this separate kind of Netflix universe with all the Defenders. You got Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist. You got all those guys now on Netflix. You know what I mean? Get some new characters into this universe. Let's pump it. Let's fist it with a whole big old bunch of more people. This is why I shouldn't do these kind of shows because I, I can't talk for this long without falling off the rails. So I might as well just, you know, end it. Cut it off here. I think I, I, I talked sufficiently about two awesome shows, The OA, watch it. A series of unfortunate events, watch it, both on Netflix now, streaming. And then, I talked about Rogue One, which came out a while ago. Hopefully somebody turns to this film, <laughs> this video, to... <laughs> somebody turns to this video, like, hoping for an actual review, they're gonna be sorely, sorely disappointed. Thanks for watching, everybody! Touch these buttons down here, um, you know, there's a little screen that comes after I shut up, that has a bunch of buttons over it. It's like there's a button here, there's a button here, like best video, and then another button right about here, and then there's like a subscri subscribe button over here somewhere, you know what I mean? It's got my face on it. You just click on it, click the subscribe button. If you do that, and leave a comment below. We'll be best friends forever. And I respond to every comment that isn't a comment that says, hey, you looking for free music? I've got free music on my channel. Come check it out. I'll respond to a message that says something like, Hey, Axel, what size shoes do you wear? Are they blue, green, or purple? So I'm, I might do another one of these videos again if you guys like this. So, see you in the next one. This was just me talking the entire time. Hope you loved it. Bye!